let's create a circular image here in InDesign. So here in the Tools panel, I'll click and hold on the Rectangle Frame tool and choose the Ellipse Frame tool. Now if I click and drag, I can create an ellipse, but if I hold down the Shift key while I drag, I can create a perfect circle. Now guys, if you aren't seeing this frame with the X inside of it, just tap your W key. That will toggle you between the normal and the preview modes. Now you want to keep this frame selected. If you've managed to deselect it, using the selection tool, just click on it once to select it like so. Let's now go up to File, Place, find the image, open, and our image has now been placed inside of our frame, potentially ridiculously largely so. So with this still selected, here in the Properties panel, come down to Frame Fitting, the first button just here, Fill Frame Proportionally, this is the result just here. Now for many of you, this will have perfectly aligned itself, and you'll be done. But let me now step you through how you can actually start to edit this a little more specifically. Now it's important to understand there are two elements just here. There's the frame, and then there's the image within the frame. So by default, when using the selection tool, you will be editing the frame. So I could, for example, grab this edge and distort it like so. Let me undo. If you grab a corner, you can also distort like so. But of course, if you hold down the shift key while you drag a corner, you can maintain that perfect circular frame. So that's editing the frame. How do we go after the image within the frame? Well, when I hover over this, do you see this little donut-like shape show up just here? That's the content grabber. If I click on that once, it now allows me to go after the image itself. So I can start to grab edges. I'll just end up distorting this thing. So like before, Let's grab a corner and hold down the shift key. Now, if I reach inside the frame, I'm still going after the image itself, and this allows me to move the image around within the frame, like so. So let's quickly go over that again, guys. I'll click away to deselect. Make sure you're using the selection tool. Clicking on this guy allows me to go after the frame itself. I'll hold down the shift key and go after a corner. To go after the image within the frame, click on the content grabber once. Again, holding down the shift key, grab a corner, grab inside to move the image, like so. One last trick to know, guys. If you now like the relationship between the image and its frame, yet you still want to resize the whole thing, hold down the command or the control key and the shift key and drag on a corner. Again, this is now allowing us to resize the frame and the image within the frame. So guys, that was the command or the control key with the shift key and drag on a corner like so. So I might wrap things up just there, guys. That's getting images inside of circular frames here inside of InDesign. I hope that helps. Catch you later.